What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and in this Unreal Engine 5.5 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to swap the mannequin from the third person template project with a metahuman using live retarget. So as you can see here, we've got a metahuman looking quite nice. The feet IK is working. He can run around and jump and do anything that many can do. Uh, this is very, very easy to set up. So this is a very beginner friendly tutorial. So without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Alrighty guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new project using the third person template, leave everything as default and hit create. And now that the editor has fired up, I'm going to head over to Quixel Bridge. So I'm going to click the cube plus icon and Quixel Bridge, head on down to the MetaHumans tab. And I'm just going to add a MetaHuman I've already got downloaded. So if I scroll down here, I've got this one, Trey. I'm going to hit add to project. And you'll know this is added because you'll see a new folder down here, MetaHumans. So what you want to do is head into your MetaHumans folder and into your MetaHumans folder here and open the blueprint. And when you open the blueprint for the first time, you should be prompted to enable some missing plugins. So enable all missing plugins. And then when prompted, you can restart the editor. Now that the editor has restarted, I'm going to open my MetaHumans blueprint. Sorry, this will take a moment. I'm also gonna head down to the third person folder and blueprints and open BP third person character and BP third person game mode as well. Let's head over to our MetaHumans blueprint. The first thing I'm gonna do in here is head over to the class settings and I'm gonna change the parent class to our BP third person character. I'm gonna grab the body of the MetaHuman and drag it onto mesh. And now we can delete this root. This is not used anymore. If we hit compile now, we'll get an error. Uh, you can click target right here and the target right here needs mesh. So you can grab mesh and drag it onto target. If you hit compile, that error should go away. Uh, now let's select the body of the metahuman. We'll zero out the location and the rotation like so. And then down here in variables, you'll see live retarget. You can drop this down and select use live retarget mode and change the default value of this to true. And then right here, you've got live retarget setup. If you double click this, it will bring you to this graph. And right here, you'll see retarget anim class. You can select this and browse to the anim class over here by clicking the little folder with the magnifying glass. It will take you to this animation blueprint. This is the animation blueprint that's used uh, for live retarget and you'll see an IK rig and an IK retargeter right here. The IK retargeter, we're gonna hit Control D and duplicate it, and we can call this something like RTG many to metahuman, something like that. So duplicate that, rename that, and open this up. And then up here in the top right, we wanna change source IK rig asset to IK mannequin. The source preview mesh, uh, I'm just going to make it SKM Quinn. Target IK rig asset will be the IK rig of your metahuman, so that should already be correct. And the target preview mesh um, is already correct as well. So in previous versions, we had to set this, but this should basically be the preview version of the skeletal mesh of your metahuman. So if you want to know what to set this as, you can go to your metahuman's blueprint, select the body and then over here you'll see the skeletal mesh asset is m tall normal body we want m tall normal body preview so as you can see this is already set correctly here m tall normal body preview uh, we also want to select the root here and change the translation mode to globally scaled this just makes sure that the uh, root motion isn't broken um, if you want to use this retargeter to duplicate and retarget animation assets. You can click these three little dots up here and change this to edit retarget pose. And then you'll see that these poses are slightly different here. We're going to click character, bones, all hierarchy to show the skeleton. And then we're going to make sure that rotation snapping is switched on to 10 degrees because we're going to grab the upper arm and rotate it out 10 degrees and back 10 degrees. And we'll do the same on the other side. 
back 10 degrees and out 10 degrees and then you'll see that these arms are lining up much better now and that is uh, most definitely close enough with this uh, for the purpose of this tutorial now one other thing here is if you're using a short metahuman and their arms aren't lining up it can create some kind of goofy results where their arm starts lower down but the hands still sort of uh, reach out to where the hands are so it it makes your uh, metahuman have kind of t-rex arms if you encounter this problem what you can do is you can select the left arm here and change blend to source to zero and also select the right arm and change blend to source to zero like so um, if your metahuman is uh, roughly the same size as the mannequin this is not necessary so i'm just going to set those back to one just so that you can see that this all works without doing that so that's all we need to do in here we can save this and close this and then in that animation blueprint the retargeting animation blueprint you want to open this up and double click on the anim graph and then select this retarget pose from mesh node and over here in the details panel we want to change the ik retargeter asset to the ik retargeter that we just duplicated and altered so rtg many to metahuman right here select that nice and this animation blueprint in 5.5 actually needs to be set as the animation blueprint uh, for your metahuman's skeletal mesh so go back to your metahuman select the body and over here under anim class for the animation blueprint uh, what we'll actually do is we'll select that animation blueprint in the content browser and then we can just click this little arrow icon to set it as the animation blueprint like so nice uh, now we need to select the skeletal mesh of our third person uh, bp third person character so select quinn and search for viz and uncheck visible and make sure you change visibility based anim tick options here to always tick pose and refresh bones this makes sure that the uh, skeleton keeps animating even though we can't see it nice uh, we're almost there let's go to the bp third person character and select everything from the event graph Control c to copy go back to our metahumans blueprint and go to the event graph and paste in this stuff compile and save that and then let's go to our bp third person game mode and change the default pawn class here to our metahumans blueprint like so compile and save that and now if we hit play we've got a metahuman it can do everything that many can do run around jump and uh, all the animations are uh, sort of retargeted in uh, in real time now this is not the most ideal setup this will cause some performance issues uh, you can see my engine is chugging there that's not that's not regarding this setup that's just the editor taking some time maybe it's compiling some shaders um, you can see i've got decent frames now it'll be about 50 frames per second um, but fyi this live retarget setup is not something that is super scalable or sort of uh, desirable for a more complicated setup if you want to use a metahuman in your game i highly recommend uh setting up its blueprint to work with its own animation blueprint i have a tutorial on how to do that in older versions of the engine i'll link that up uh, with a card at the top right of the screen right now and I will at some point uh, look at updating that tutorial for 5.5 and the uh, new easy retargeting functionality in I believe it was Unreal Engine 5.3 and onwards but uh, for now that tutorial does have some useful information in it if you want to uh, set up your metahumans blueprint with its own animation blueprint guys if this tutorial has been of any use or value to you whatsoever please hit like and subscribe and i will see you on the next one